abundance of technologies traveled along the Silk Road. Among them, as you could imagine by the name of it, silk farming. At this workshop in ancient China, workers carefully raised these caterpillars to obtain raw silk. And then come the unraveling, spinning, and embroidery processes. And from here, the smooth fabric and the sericulture techniques went far to the west. By the 6th century, silk weaving had been established in Persia, and weavers there gradually developed their own patterns. In 12th century CE, during the time of the Second Crusade, some 2,000 skilled weavers from Constantinople arrived in Italy and set up silk business there. During the Middle Ages and the Renaissance, the city-states of the Italian peninsula became the dominant producers of luxury silks in Europe. Paper making and printing became widespread in ancient China, and these technologies changed the world. Now, woodblock printing could be traced back to 600, the Tang Dynasty. It was a big deal to help spread information. One setback, though, was that the technology was too time-consuming. So, 400 years later, in the Song Dynasty, people invented movable type printing. It is a style of relief printing in which carved wooden blocks are used to press texts, images, and other designs onto textiles or paper. Now, these techniques were spread beyond the Korean Peninsula and Japan and all the way to the Middle East, North Africa, and Europe. And this enabled the publishing of a variety of texts and the further dissemination of knowledge and literacy. The compass, another globally significant invention. Originated in China around 2nd century CE, it was first used for worship, fortune-telling, and aligning buildings. People later discovered that these small magnetic stones or needles could serve as tools for orientation. Spread to Europe around the 12th century, with it, Italian sailors were able to navigate themselves the sea, leading up to the boom in maritime trade. Now, the widespread use of the compass heralded in the so-called Age of Discovery, which marked the beginning of the modern age. Thanks to the Silk Road, great innovations traveled both ways. Technologies on sugar making and medicine arrived in China from India during the Tang Dynasty between the 7th and 10th centuries. And in the 14th century, ideas and inventions in astronomy, mathematics, and architecture from Europe and the Arabian Peninsula also made their way to China. In the 10th century, when China was in its Song Dynasty, two things significantly increased rice yields. One, a more advanced irrigation system, and two, Introduction of a drought-resistant, early maturing grain of rice from Champa, located in what is now central Vietnam. A thousand years later, China is able to use its homegrown hybrid rice technology to feed over 20% of the world's population, with just 10% of the world's total arable land. Hybrid rice has been adopted by Pakistan, Bangladesh, and other countries along the New Silk Road helping with food security in less developed, populous nations. The Belt and Road Initiative revived the ancient roots as the exchange of goods, ideas, and technologies continue to thrive. Modern-day projects are keeping up connectivity to promote mutual influence and share mutual benefits.